Hello everyone. Today we'll be studying software development lifecycle model selection procedures. So what are the factors that affect the selection of software development lifecycle models? Let's look at this statement. Software development lifecycle models must be selected and adapted to the context of project and product characteristics. So the context of project and product characteristics are what decides which software model you select. Remember these two key phrases, context of project and product characteristics. Now let's shed some further light on this statement. Project characteristics. What type of project do you want to build? That is what will decide which development model you choose. Next is project goal or type. The goal of your project will also influence the decision. After that is business properties. This is about the kind of resources you have available or the type of organization you're working in. Then we have time to market. The product's release schedule can also decide what type of model you choose. For example, if you want to release the product early, then you can go for the agile model since it's very fast. Project context. Just like the product characteristics or goal, the context will also affect your choice of a development model. And finally, you have project and product risk. This is a very important factor. What is the risk associated with your product? Is it a safety related risk or security related risk? This consideration will also have to be kept in mind when selecting a model. So these are all the factors that influence model selection. But you might be asking, what does context mean? The context is which type of system you want to develop. Depending on whether you want to develop a security lifecycle model or a safety critical system, you will choose different development models. We'll get into some good examples in the next video, which will help clear up these points. I'll see you in that one. Until then, happy testing.